Hello guys, welcome to Behind the Scenes. As you can see, I'm alone, but it's okay because this intro um, I'm doing alone because the video you're going to see is going to be, I like to think of it as an extension of getting to know Tulele Zama. You know, we did that behind the scenes some time ago. Um, and uh, yeah, I think there'll be a little bit of me, some photos, but uh, mostly about Tuli and we hope you enjoy it and we shall see you on tuesday for fortnite bye guys and i am the concert and jazz center coordinator at uk students center for jazz and popular music hey <laughs> So some of you may know I myself am also a musician. Currently I'm with a beautiful duo with my partner in crime, Mr. David Smith. And over the years, I've also been a part of an all-female jazz band called Heels of a Head. Now, many people know that the jazz space is very male-dominated. And even our industry as a whole is very male-dominated. So, you know, there's been some challenges here and there, having to take up our space and prove that, you know, we have every right to be there as women. Even people that came before us and opened those doors and made it possible for us to have played in the stages that we play in, you know, as women in the industry, as people of color, you know, um, South Africa has come a long way and I'm very proud to be making a mark in the music industry in South Africa and hopefully also opening doors for younger people. And you know, sometimes it feels like uh, the art sector is always the last thing to be spoken about or thought of. So people will plan their entire event and then as a last minute thing, think, oh, I need musicians and then be trying to negotiate right till the end financially and you know sometimes you have to ask yourself is this worth it for me to actually leave my house and it almost feels like COVID, COVID-19 the pandemic has taken us back a few years because the negotiations guys you're not about to see me in my Ferrari just yet <laughs> I personally feel like music is a calling or, you know, so there's no way that I would ever discourage any young person who wants to be in the industry. What I can say to you is that you've got to work very hard and very consistently and you're as good as the last time people saw you at the end of the day. So what we do, for example, as and then, is that we rehearse regardless of whether we've got an upcoming gig we always try to be as sharp as you know we can be so when a client is booking us as a duo they know that they can only expect the best and the quality just you know levels guys levels so better keep up bye guys